Welcome back to Ox Tools. I'm Tom. So some of you guys have probably been following the news here in California. Uh, we've had extra heavy rainfall this year and it's actually damaged one of our big major dams here. Uh, this is the Oroville Dam up near Oroville, California. Um, and it's kind of, you know, from an engineering perspective, it's uh, an interesting study and it will probably become part of curriculum uh, in the future for civil engineers. Um, and it's kind of a uh, perfect storm of engineering problems. So the primary spillway was damaged and um, um, some decisions were made to, uh, to continue to let water run through there. So um, another event happened and it got worse. So they said, okay, let's stop that. And then let's use the emergency spillway, which was engineered in. And um, it's got some problems too. So it may limit its, its uh, potential usage. Now, the news is all over this like, you know, dogs on bacon, okay? And, um, um, you know, with daily reports of, or hourly reports of what water and concrete flying around, but no real good information, okay? Um, so, which is typical of the news, right? Anyway, uh, I was driving home and I said, gee, I was talking to myself, that happens a lot, and uh, I said, you know, if I had to fix that, how would I fix that? And, uh, Anyway, I started thinking about it. Well, you could do this, you could do that, you could do this, you could do that. And I said, oh, hey, well, there's an interesting idea. So I had an idea, and I thought I'd share it with you guys to see what you thought. And um, uh, we can talk about, um, you know, getting paralyzed with, uh, with fear and, uh, and gloom and doom, or actually, you know, pull yourself up by your bootstraps and, uh, and get in there and fix something, okay? So anyway, let's check it out. Let's check out my idea and you guys can get your internet shotguns out and blow it to bits. Okay, let's take a look. Okay, so here's, you know, one of my, uh, my great heroes of engineering is uh, Edwin Land of the uh, Land Polaroid, the Polaroid Land Company. And uh, one of his sayings was, there's always something in the room that you can do a mock-up with or uh, uh, learn a little bit more about the problem that you're trying to solve. So. This is a post office uh, priority mailbox and a McMaster car shipping tube. So here's, here's the problem that they're facing in, in Oroville is this is going to represent our emergency spillway here, okay? Well, what's happened is, and I'm going to fold the wall down for a second, is a, a giant hole has kind of eroded into this spillway and it's through the concrete, right? And uh, it's exposed the dirt and the rock underneath, right? And it actually kind of looks like that. And you can go look on the internet. Now, you know, I tried to find dimensions of this, uh, this spillway and I couldn't, you know, with a quick search, I couldn't find it. Like I said, lack of useful information. Um, and then, so this is all a giant hole now through the floor of this thing. So they, kept leave, letting water run through here. And then the, the big problem happened when these walls uh, were damaged here, okay? Like so. And they, they kind of got blown out too. And now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna cut this out just to illustrate what the problem looks like. <laughs> okay, so here, so here's where, here's the situation. And in, uh, in solid modeling, uh, this is called a disjoint body here. <laughs> Actually, you know what, I'm just gonna lay it down flat. So they got this gaping hole in the gray carpet, it represents the, the rock underneath, right? And um, so water is not flowing straight down, you know, as it should normally, okay? Now, if you look at the, uh, how water flows down this thing uh, under normal conditions, it's not real deep. So it appears to be fairly shallow in relation to the proportions of this thing. And it's almost a laminar flow situation. So it's going pretty fast though. So the problem is that the water's coming down here and it's hitting here and it's coming out of the side and they don't want water on this particular side of the dam, right? This is the dam side, emergency spillway side over here, right? So well, how do you fix this? You can't let more water go in there. It's just gonna get worse, right? Well, on my way home, I was thinking about it and I go, gee, what would I do? Well, here's what I would do. 
I get a bunch of pipe welders together and I get a bunch of big pipe and uh, what I would do is I would bridge this with pipe okay and you got a whole bunch of guys with portable welders welding this stuff together okay like so and they they weld this stuff together and they bridge these these side things with steel pipe okay now you know maybe these are 48 inch pipes or 60 inch pipes or something like that these are all commercially available pipes right and then uh, I'll bring it a little closer there's there's an idea for filling in these little uh, these little gaps too so now we weld all this together and underneath we can use this erosion feature to help secure this thing from from sliding down the hill okay so let's uh, let's get in a little closer all right so now you know we've got our we've got our large pipes in here in the spillway here well we still got some little spaces in here we can't let water or much water uh, get through into this area here we really want it to most of it to go in these pipes or in the large pipes so what we can do there is we can fill those with smaller pipes okay like so and um, you know some clever engineer can figure it all out right um, but this is just a concept okay and you can keep reducing the sizes of these pipes down until you know you get you seal off as much as you can seal off right and the idea being that most of the water um, well, let's uh, let's flush those up there a little bit uh, most of the water goes through the tubes right and obviously you're not going to run this wide open uh, but you may be able to get a significant amount of flow through a system like this and bridge this uh, um, this problem area until you know you're out of the wet season and you can actually do some proper repairs but uh, I bet you there's some um, some studly pipe welders out there uh, just waiting to put some big pipe together like this and uh, all these are small components that can be uh, easily transported to the site and uh, assembled on site so uh, anyway just wanted to throw that idea out there and uh, for all you civil engineers uh, go ahead and poke holes in that idea <laughs> anyway thanks for watching guys